All right guys, here's some stuff that you can do if the gym is getting a little stale on you. So let's say you've been going to the gym for like six days a week or something like that, and you're just like, uh, I don't really wanna go anymore. Maybe you're getting a little bored with your routine. You don't really wanna put in the effort. You're kinda tired, stuff like that. So let's break it down for you guys. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut out all caffeine other than pre-workout or your pre-workout coffee or something like that. I would say I switched to decaf coffee in the morning. My caffeine tolerance is a lot better. And then when I use pre-workout, it'll hit a lot harder. So you're gonna wanna take your caffeine that you have throughout the day and limit it to only before the gym, right? And then what I like to do is I don't even like to have coffee before the gym because all that's in that is just caffeine, which yeah, it'll give you energy and everything. But the better way to go about it is to actually take like a pre-workout. Um, there's a lot of good pre-workouts out there. I'm not really gonna get into what's the best one right now. But there's a lot of different ones. Basically what pre-workout's gonna do is it has that caffeine in it, right? You can choose different amounts. I'd say around like two or 300 milligrams is really good. That'll put you in the zone, right? And then it also has other stuff in it. Like we all know it has like pump product in it to give you a better pump and everything when you're working out. But the thing that's also in it that a lot of people don't realize is it has like nootropics. And if you don't know what nootropics are, it basically gets your brain working properly, gets you in the zone more. It helps you focus like a lot better on what you're gonna do. Basically just wakes you up and gets you in the zone and everything. And I think it's a very important supplement. You all need to be taking it if you're actually taking the gym seriously. Because from my personal experience, it's literally a night and day difference when you take pre-workout and you don't have like an insane caffeine tolerance of wanting to actually go to the gym. So I would say not even to take the pre-workout on the drive, I'd say to take it before the gym, unless you really have to drive like a while, which I don't know why you would ever have to drive like over 30 minutes to the gym. So I like to take it a little bit before when I'm either like at work or something, I know I'm going to the gym after, or I'm just at home chilling, about to hit the gym, I like to take it, you know, kind of get in the zone, then I get like get changed in my gym clothes and I drive, blast some music, and I get in the zone. I really get focused in and I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward to it. Really fun part of the day for me. So if you guys aren't already taking a pre-workout, I would suggest doing that every time you lift. It's gonna make the experience just so much better. The next thing I would suggest to you guys if it's getting a little stale is to track all your weight that you're lifting and track all your progress. So I like to use personally like an app. It's called like the Strong app. I think it's free to a degree. You can also pay for it to get more options, but I just use the free version pretty much because I don't really, can't really be bothered to actually pay for it. And then you get to go in there knowing that your strength is gonna go up, knowing what you hit last time. So not just aimlessly doing like a, a workout. And I think that just makes it a lot more fun. It makes me actually look forward to going to the gym to seeing if I can progress. Cause every time I go in, I try to either add some weight, add some reps, maybe add another set. So I know I'm progressing. All right guys, slight change of attire here, bear with me. But this also goes for the contrary. So if you're tracking your workouts so meticulously that you're just getting stressed out mentally and it's just not fun for you, then I would say to do the exact opposite, what I just said before, right? So maybe just go in there for fun. Obviously push yourself. I do believe following a structured plan is a lot better, but if it's either following just having fun in the gym and pushing yourself or nothing, then obviously going to the gym is always gonna be not going to the gym, right? So that's another point. And guys, following a structure, that doesn't always just go for training, that can also go for your diet too. So if you like sticking by a meal plan and really sticking to it, and tracking all your calories and you think that that is a good way to help you out and stay more consistent in the gym and maybe add some structure that you like then that's another good way that you can do it that'll also help you maybe look forward to going to the gym you know timing your meals getting in maybe six meals a day as opposed to like two or three something like that but guys if you would rather do something else like just get your protein in and then eat whatever else you want obviously you want to try to keep it healthy but you have two options, you have structured meal plans or whatever, and then you have the people that just, whatever fits your macros, whatever hits your protein goals. You can really do either of those. Obviously following a structured diet, just like a structured training, it's gonna give you better results or more optimal results. I'm sure you'll still get majority of the gains either way, as long as you're getting in your protein and everything like that. So that's another way that you can really spice things up in like your training life, because you want this to be like a lifestyle, guys. So yeah, guys, like I said, um, if you're really getting stale in the gym, you're not having as much fun as you used to, then I would suggest A, taking pre-workout as your only caffeine source throughout the day. That's really gonna help you get into the zone and get hyped for that workout. 
playing some good music is also a really good idea as to amp yourself up. As we all know, caffeine lowers our tolerance of our perceived pain. So like, let's say you're squatting or something and it's really, really exerting and you really don't like it. Boom, you take some pre-workout beforehand, it's gonna feel like you're doing a lot less work. It's gonna feel a lot less strenuous than it would be if you didn't take caffeine slash pre-workout. And then a structured diet and meal plan, if you think that's something that'll help you stay more consistent as to going to the gym and making gains. Um, and it goes the other way too. If you are always been meal prepping, you've always been tracking your lifts and maybe that's the reason why you're not as consistent as you'd like to be, then maybe be a little bit more loose. Just hit your protein goals, have that be your target instead of maybe fitting in six different meals with like veggies and stuff like that. Maybe just try hitting your protein goals. Then maybe just try having some more fun in the gym, you know, not necessarily following a structured routine, but just going in there for more fun. Um, obviously you wanna push yourself and everything like that. That's my advice to people that want to see results and, you know, be a little bit more consistent in the gym, right? Also, having a goal in mind is really going to help. So, usually the two most common goals are going to be either bulking or cutting. So, if you're always working towards a goal and you can physically see yourself changing, whether that be in the mirror or, like, on the scale or even getting stronger at lifts, that is going to help you really strive for those results and look forward to seeing those results because when you cut or something like that and you get to see like the fat physically stripping itself off of your body um it's really cool and then when you're bulking you know and you see that scale going up and you know you've been putting in the work in the gym you know you're getting that muscle that's also really cool too so those are my whatever like five six points i don't know there's a lot of points in there that's what i would give to advice for people struggling to like stay in the gym or maybe it's just getting stale on you, something like that. These are some things that, I mean, if you implement, if you implement these properly, I think you'll see a lot more consistency in your guys' gym and fitness life. But that's really all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm out, boys. Peace.